frustrated and concerned as a nursing home in Waterbury is being forced to close its doors. The Abbott Terrace Health Center lost its Medicare funding, and now hundreds of residents will have to find somewhere else to live. And workers will be without a job in less than 30 days. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Amanda Callahan breaks down how all of this happened. I'm not sure where he would end up, and that's what bothers me. You know, we really need to fight to keep these places open. Melissa Velez's father has called Abbott Terrace Health Center in Waterbury home for the past 10 years. But in less than 30 days, he and 179 other residents will be forced to find a new place to live. On September 10th, Abbott Terrace received a notice from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services that their funding will be stopped because the facility does not meet basic health and safety requirements. But a spokesperson for the company says that's not true, saying after repeated visits from the state's Department of Public Health, the nursing home invested $200,000 in renovations and there is more coming. The statement went on to say, quote, though we addressed all issues and had expected to achieve compliance in early September, the facility was notified by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid that they terminated our participation in the Medicare and Medicaid programs. In turn, this will result in the inability for Abbott Terrace to operate and require closure due to the loss of federal and state reimbursement. Now, family members like Velez are fighting back. I'm going up the street and I'm going to be going door to door to work on petitions and everybody for them to sign. And most likely, hopefully, we'll get enough so we can make a big improvement in the, you know, the community so that we can stay open. But it's not just residents being impacted. The nursing home employs nearly 300 people who will find themselves without a job in a matter of weeks. They're now making a plea to a number of state lawmakers to step in and help before time runs out. We want to see that, that uh, the state and, and the federal government work to ensure that the city does not lose this resource, that source of employment, and, and those, uh, that the ability to take care of 200 of our elderly. Bless says some of these employees have become like family over the years, sending her pictures of her father and updating her on his health. These caretakers, they're the only ones that provide for them, and, you know, they're the only ones that do help them, you know, because families can't take upon themselves to do it all alone. Abbott Terrace says that they're continuing to meet with the Department of Public Health and also working with lawmakers to try and keep the nursing home open, but they are preparing for that closure on October 10th and looking for other places to take in the hundreds of residents and employees. In Waterbury, Amanda Callahan, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.